Today, we're looking at configuring the Container Runtime Cgroup driver in Kubernetes. This configuration is crucial for managing how containers access system resources like CPU and memory, especially in a production setup. Imagine this, you're responsible for managing a Kubernetes cluster for a SaaS product, and performance is critical. You've noticed inconsistent resource usage across your nodes, leading to performance issues. Configuring the Container Runtime Cgroup driver correctly can help optimize this resource management. The Cgroup driver is what Kubernetes uses to manage system resources for containers. It ensures each container stays within its assigned CPU and memory limits. But here's the key part, the Cgroup driver must align with the node's init system for smooth operation. There are two main Cgroup drivers, Systemd and Cgroups. Systemd works well on systems with the Systemd init system and Hashtag 40, like Ubuntu and Hashtag 41, while Cgroups is a Linux native driver that uses the file system. Having a mismatch between the Cgroup driver and the init system can cause resource allocation problems. Let's go back to our SaaS product scenario. Your Kubernetes nodes are Ubuntu-based, running Systemd. But by default, Docker or your container runtime might be using Cgroups. This mismatch means that the containers may not manage resources consistently, causing CPU spikes or memory leaks. This isn't just a minor inconvenience, it can impact your customer experience and even lead to unexpected service downtime. So, to prevent these issues, it's essential to configure the container runtime to use the Systemd Cgroup driver, aligning it with the nodes in its system. Now let's get into configuring it. In this example, we'll use Docker, but this applies to other container runtimes like Container2. First, SSH into the node and locate your Docker daemon configuration file, typically found at slash etc slash docker slash daemon.json. Edit this file and add the following configuration, execops, native.cgroupdriver equals systemd. This tells Docker to use the systemd cgroup driver, aligning with our nodes in its system. Once updated, restart Docker to apply the changes, pseudo system to restart Docker. If you're using containered, you can set the cgroup driver in slash etc slash containered slash config.toml. After configuring the runtime, ensure Kubernetes recognizes the update by checking the kubelet configuration. In most cases, Kubernetes will auto-detect the runtime cgroup driver, but it's worth verifying. Once you've restarted Docker or Containered, check the configuration with Docker Info, grep by cgroup, or the equivalent for Containered, to confirm that the cgroup driver is now set to systemd. Then, in Kubernetes, you can use kubectl describe node node name to ensure the node is showing as ready and healthy. Aligning the cgroup driver improves resource efficiency and prevents nodes from experiencing unnecessary CPU or memory overhead, especially in a high-traffic application scenario like a SaaS product. This configuration isn't just a one-time setup, it's a best practice for running stable, high-performance applications. By ensuring that your container runtime cgroup driver matches the systems in its system, you're creating a consistent, reliable environment that optimizes resource allocation across your containers. And there you have it. Configuring the container runtime cgroup driver is essential for production-ready Kubernetes clusters. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more Kubernetes tips and tricks.